Hello, dear students. I welcome you all to this session. And I believe for most of the 12th graders, the board exams are about to be finished, or they might have uh, be like you might have been done with those examinations. Some of you at least. So it's a good time to actually talk about what lies ahead now. All right. Some of you may want to improve your percentile in the second attempt of JE mains. Some of you may want to target JE advanced examinations straight away. All right. So today's session, uh, I'll tell you that what we are going to do in today's session and who this session is relevant for. So. Uh, this session is relevant for all those students who want to improve upon their percentile. All right, it is especially relevant for students who have scored low percentiles because if your percentile is low, then we have a huge scope of improvement in that. You know, by putting some minimal efforts, I'll explain everything to you. It is uh, not a fancy session. It is a very logical session whether I'm going to tell you what you need to do uh, to ensure that your percentile improves. So I would suggest that any student who has scored below 97 percentile, if you are looking for an improvement in your percentile, then please watch this session. It's not going to be a very long session, maybe 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. But in these 20, 25 minutes, I'm going to tell you that how you can improve upon your percentile. Students who have scored more than 97 percentile, I think you all should aim for J advanced examination. You should start preparing. I'm pretty sure that many of you have already joined a clever batch and you have started preparing for that. This session is not for you guys. For you guys, I'm going to talk about uh, separately in a separate session. Right now, I'm going to address the students who have scored low percentile. So this session is relevant for who? This is relevant for students who want to improve their J main percentile. Okay. So uh, what is the philosophy? Like what I'm going to tell you. Uh, hi, Rajin Vishal. Uh, so guys, um, what is the philosophy here? So uh, we observed, we checked the last year papers of January attempt as well as the April attempt of J main and we saw a trend in them. We observed that the chapters and the topics on which the questions came in majority in January attempt, the same chapters and the same topics came in April attempt as well. Like uh, the majority questions were from the same topics and the same subtopics. Even the nature of the question was pretty much similar. All right. So inspired by that, what we have done is we have created a content which actually tells you or which actually exposes you to the kind of question that have come in plenty in the January attempt. I'll explain the entire philosophy with you. Like I'll tell you exactly how the content was created. Okay. So what we did, we first of all tagged all the 750 questions that came in the J main January attempt. Why am I talking about 750 question? So we had a total of 10 exams and every exam has 75 questions, 25 in physics, 25 chemistry, 25 in mathematics. So one exam had 75 questions and we had 10 such exams. All right. So we had a total of 75, uh, 750 questions, 250 questions in each subject. So we first tagged them. What do I mean by that? I will show you the work. We assigned the chapter name, the subtopic name, the difficulty level. Okay. And uh, um, the type of question, whether it was an SCQ, whether it was an assertion reason. All right. So these are the tags that we assigned to each of the 750 questions. Okay. That enabled us to identify the chapters from which uh, like majority of the questions came and even the subtopics from which majority of the questions came. All right. Then what we did, we made a list of 25 such chapters. And when we made this list, we did not pay attention to whether this chapter was coming from a physics chemistry or mathematics. Our aim was not to ensure that you score good in physics or chemistry or mathematics or that you, you prepare equally well for the three subjects. That is not the idea, guys. You get all three subjects together. You get three hours. You get 75 questions. You have to maximize your score. So it doesn't matter that you're scoring from physics, chemistry or mathematics so long as you are scoring marks, so long as your rate of fetching marks is quite good during those three hours, you will end up getting a good score. It doesn't matter from which subject you are fetching the marks. In fact, we found that the maths paper were, the maths questions were difficult. So it would be wise to not devote too much of time in maths when you try in the second attempt. Rather, if you have questions left in physics and chemistry to be attempted and you think you can do those questions, it is wise to leave maths and you know focus on physics and chemistry first once you have exhausted the doable questions from physics and chemistry then you can switch over to mathematics and uh, check for questions that you are able to do so 
we put those similar questions together and then what we did for each of the 25 chapters that we identified we took the questions that came in the january attempt and then we added some questions to make sure that every chapter has 30 questions in it all right so 25 chapters 30 questions in each chapter and that's how we made a pool of 750 questions and we are calling this booklet as panacea okay panacea means medicine for all like it's a medicine for everything it's a medicine that can cure any 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 disease so that's a panacea so this content is would be a panacea for each and every student who wants to improve their percentile because you don't have too much of time to do you know something um, elaborate so whatever you are doing or whatever you are planning to do it has to be a very condensed thing condensed and yet impactful you know you need a pocket dynamite kind of situation like kind of thing that uh, less hours and yet very very meaningful and impactful so that is what this content is all about all right so whatever i have described guys uh, let me show that to you because when i show that to you you will probably understand the situation better so let me show you the work so guys what we did we tagged the j main okay 22 so we put all the questions here you see that the morning shift is written question number is written question id is written what was the correct answer okay which subject it belong to the chapter to which it belong to the subtopic to which it belongs okay the difficulty level the type of question whether it was scq and assertion reason all right and whatever remarks okay like some questions were wrong also so we mentioned that also so this sheet in itself is very useful okay and maybe we can share the sheet with you it's a it's a very good resource to do the research on jmain so we did this for all the 750 questions you see uh this list okay i'm not able to scroll it um, this list will go till 750. So we did this for all the uh, questions that we get. Uh, okay. Uh, see here, 751 row. So for all 750 questions, we did it. Next, what we did, we identified that how many questions are there from which chapter. For example, in physics, um, from capacitors, we had a total of 11 uh, questions. From some other chapter, we had 10 questions. From some other chapter, 16 questions. I think this should be ray optics or electrostats. All right. So for from every chapter, how many questions came? Okay. We identified that. Uh, and we did this for all the subjects. And this enabled us to prepare a list of 25 chapters. So you see here, we selected five chapters in mathematics. These are 3D probability, sequence series, sets, relation, function, and binomial theorem. We selected 12 chapters in physics. And we selected eight chapters in chemistry. All right. So total of 25 chapters. Okay. And th this is the reason also like we are selecting uh, why we selected the five chapters from mathematics. Okay. So in these chapters, the questions that came, good number of questions came and that too, they were easy questions like higher fraction of the easy question was there. Okay. So like this, we made a short list of 25 chapters. And then for each chapter, okay, for each chapter, we made the total count of questions 35, uh, 30, sorry. We included the questions that came in the January attempt and then we added some questions from ourselves also to ensure the total count is 30. So this is how we have pre prepared this content. How you can access this content is something that I am going to show you later on. Okay, uh, now let me also show you what is the logic behind uh, having 750 questions. So I'll give you a very simple logic, guys. Let me assume that every day you are writing one J main mock test. So that will consume your three hours. Okay. Apart from that, let's say you're solving any content, this panacea content for three hours. It is estimated that in about three hours, you should be able to solve a minimum of 60 questions. Of course, we are expected to solve 75 questions in, in a span of 180 minutes. But Let's be on the conservative side. Let's believe that you can solve 60 questions in a span of three hours. So every day, if you solve 60 questions, then you will end up requiring 12.5 days to finish all the 750 questions. Let's keep 2.5 days as buffer due to whatever reason if you are not able to finish. So it should take about 15 days for you to finish this content at the rate of three hours per day. And why only three hours per day? Because there are other things also that you need to do. You must write a J main mock test on a daily basis. So there three hours will go. And then whatever test you are writing, you need to analyze your mistakes from that. Whatever content you are solving here. Here also you will commit some mistakes. You will have some doubt. 
you would want to learn some new things you know on the basis of the questions that you are getting exposed to so you need time to uh, strengthen those weak uh, uh, areas also so 3 hours for that so simple 3 3 3 rule i am assuming that this is the bare minimum that you will devote you will require time apart from this also for revision whatever chapter you are going to solve you need to revise that okay uh, so there are things that you would want to do so i am just assuming that you invest 3 hours in mock test 3 hours in panacea and 3 hours in resolving your doubts and the other time that you have you can invest in revision you must revise a chapter before you start solving it so if you do this this is a good enough target for one day and if you achieve this target for 15 days you will be done with this content you would have solved a majority of the questions or majority of the type of question that came in the jee main january attempt and you should be well poised to do well in the april attempt i am reiterating this content is particularly useful for students who scored less than 90 percentile because if you scored less than 90 percentile then there is a good amount of scope of improvement in you like it basically means that you did many questions wrong or you left out many questions when you did uh, when you attempted the first attempt okay so doing this will give you the uh, you know the arsenal that you need to solve more questions and to solve them accurately all right so i hope that the logic the philosophy of the content is clear the philosophy is very simple we want to help the students who scored less percentile but we have a very limited time frame so we need a very targeted content to solve that can create impact in a short span like 15 days <coughs> okay how the content was created i explained you that also and i have also shown you that this content is designed in a manner so that we can consume it in about 15 days okay now where to find the content okay now this part part is important very important guys so guys our team is working to upload this content on the pedagogy app that's a app developed by vedantu okay the link of this app is given in the description now usually the access to pedagogy is paid but as is the nature of anand sir he has made access free absolutely free nothing to be paid for all je aspirant for the next 4 months like until the time you are done with your je main second attempt your je advanced and other engineering exams he has made access to this app absolutely free the link that we have pasted in the description of this session when you click on this link it will take you um it will take you to the page where you can join when you can uh, you know get the infinity pass we call it as infinity pass it basically means access to everything that is there on the uh, pedagogy app you will get an infinity pass for 4 months for 0 rupees you don't have to pay anything it will show that the total price is zero you just click on that check out and you will gain access to infinity pass and once we have uploaded the panacea content on this app you will be able to access the content there our team is doing it right now it may be done in a couple of hours it may require about 4 5 hours uh, we are very sure that it will be done by tonight so tomorrow you will be able to check this out okay now um, i'll try to show you what you need to do in this pedagogy app um let's see if i can demonstrate it right now everyone let's see if i can demonstrate that uh no i think can i do that yeah it looks like i can uh no anyways guys uh okay let me try it uh i need this session from where i can get this session just a minute guys yeah so we have opened this session now if we come to the description okay we come to the description and we have this link we click on this link okay no no guys this is not what i wanted to show anyways um all right guys uh we'll make it accessible don't worry about that okay so we'll do it uh we'll do it i'll, I'll let you know okay uh now students who want to prepare for je advance i said that i will take a separate session for you um but the theme remains the same if you are already aware of eclave please join it this is the scholarship structure everyone who is above 98 percentile is absolutely free all you have to do is fill the form 
those of you who scored less than 98th percentile and you yet want to be part of a clever batch, uh, there are scholarships to be won. And how you can avail the scholarship or even if you are uh, getting a 100% scholarship, how you can join the batch. For that, you need to fill this form. Scan this QR code. It will open a Google form. You fill this form. Once we have your details, we'll verify your percentile and then we will add you to the clever batch. And this is the link uh, to the Telegram channel of Eclave. Uh, you can join this and you can be present here. We keep on sharing good stuff, good academic stuff in this channel. So you will be able to access that. You'll be able to make use of that. All right, students, I hope every one of you understood what Panacea is all about. And uh, I hope that all the students who aim to improve their percentile, they make good use of it. All right. Uh, I'll see you again, guys, in some other session on this channel. Uh, keep preparing well. All the best. And see you very soon in another session. Take care, students. Bye-bye.